Some organisms can produce food by using the energy in sunlight in a process called photosynthesis. Plants, algae and cyanobacteria are examples of organisms that can photosynthesize. You must learn the word equation for photosynthesis, where carbon dioxide reacts with water and with the input of light energy produces glucose and oxygen. Chlorophyll, a green pigment found in the chloroplasts of plants, enables plants to absorb light energy and photosynthesize. It is also important that you know that photosynthesis is an enzyme-controlled reaction. Regarding the rate of photosynthesis, the following factors can affect how quickly a plant can photosynthesize. Temperature, carbon dioxide and light intensity can all affect how much a plant can photosynthesize. Temperature could be too high or too low, and different species of plants will have different optimum temperatures for photosynthetic activity. If carbon dioxide levels are too low, then that will reduce the rate of photosynthesis, as will light intensity. We call these the limiting factors of photosynthesis. All three things can limit how much photosynthesis a plant can do. Focusing more on glucose and plants, they use the glucose they produce for many things. You must realise that plants make their own glucose, but they then must aerobically respire to release the energy in glucose to support other processes and activities within the plant. Plants can store energy by converting glucose into starch, so the plant can meet energy demands when photosynthetic activity is low. Glucose can also be converted into cellulose, which is what plant cell walls are made of. Plants can also use the glucose to make proteins and oils. In the next lesson, we will look at investigating the factors that affect photosynthesis.